Hi, I'm Andrew Seamer from Inventive, and today we're going to take a look at HTML. HTML is effectively a uh, hypertext markup language. That's what it stands for. Uh, the idea being that we can have documents hosted on somebody's computer that point to other documents hosted on somebody else's computer. This is kind of how the structure of the internet is maintained. Uh, each of these documents might tell a story, may have images inside of it, may link to videos, and so on. Uh, most people that would be interested in this video have likely already used the internet, otherwise you wouldn't be seeing this video. So today we're going to take a look at uh, just the basics of HTML and how those come together. So what, what is HTML? Um, so it is a semi-structured, uh, meaning that there is some form of structure that you can reliably count on. So semi-structured document uh, that allows us to use a form of code to create a page in a visually compelling way. Now, not everybody uses HTML to create visually compelling websites. However, uh, a lot of businesses definitely do, and that's what we're interested in. Uh, each document that we have uh, or that we create can have many different types of links inside of it that link to various other documents. So as an example, if you go to Google and you search for frogs, you'll get a whole bunch of uh, websites returned in the results, and you can click any one of those, and that will take you to another website that tells you likely about frogs or shows you pictures about frogs. So it's really a great way to create uh, or rather manage information all around the world. Anybody who has a server or has access to the internet can create websites and therefore can share information with other people. The fact that it's semi-structured and so accessible is what ultimately made the internet such a big place. So as a web developer, HTML is the foundation of your new career. Almost every website we create will have some form of HTML on it, unless you're doing something like a Flash website or something of that nature. Uh, but for the most part, there's going to be some HTML involved. So question, have you ever written HTML? Um, most people have in some form or fashion. Uh, if you have not, we're definitely going to tackle that today. So this is an example of a, a super basic uh, profile website. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of different elements. And we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, how those elements correspond to HTML. Uh, so here you'll see HTML head, title, and in the title, what you see in your tab and search results. So if we go back here, you'll see up here in the upper left corner uh, what you see in your tab and search results. So that's corresponding to the title. Uh, alert is a JavaScript thing. We'll look at that in another video. Uh, styles or CSS, uh, also a completely different topic. And then we'll see H1, page title for all to see. So that's this big red guy, page title for all to see. So each of these elements here, so H1 is just an element. You'll notice there's an opening tag and a closing tag. Uh, those all correspond to different sections of this page. And later we'll take a look at actually how to write that. Okay, so the HTML document. Uh, HTML documents are just plain old text files. You can create one by creating a text file in any text editor. And you simply end with the .html or .htm file extension. Uh, generally speaking, since HTML is served uh, via a browser, uh, we generally would not use spaces because spaces have to be transcoded uh, into some other character set. So we tend to have the file be a continuous set of characters. You can use dashes or underscores, uh, but generally we wouldn't want to use spaces. Uh, all HTML documents are made up of tags, so each of these things we call a tag um, or elements, and inside of those you will have attributes, so we have style, attribute, etc. Um, so all tags begin and end with a less than and greater than sign. Uh, most tags end with a closing tag, so this is an opening body tag, and this is a closing body tag, or we say start body and end body. That's kind of how we get around this. Uh, begin body, open body, etc. Um, so the one thing is there are some kinds uh, of content that don't necessarily have closing tags. Uh, let me see if I can find an example of that. Uh, so if we look at this image tag, you'll see it starts with an image tag, but it just ends, it's kind of self-closing. It ends with that slash, but we don't have an end image. 
Now, we didn't really open a tag and close a tag. We just kind of self-closed it. Uh, the other part is attributes. So tags can have attributes and content. Um, attributes, again, are like style. That's an attribute. Notice that this div tag opens, but it doesn't close until way down here at the bottom. Uh, so in that case, everything in between these two div tags, the opening div tag and the closing div tag, are considered content of that div tag. Or in between these two paragraph tags, you'll see my interests. That also is considered content of the paragraph tag. So just another way to look at it, we have tags, attributes, content, and in tags. So tags, attributes, div is a tag, style is an attribute, and then the image inside of this div tag is considered content of the div tag. Notice that the image tag is self-closing, and then the div tag has an in tag. This is a very common pattern you'll see in all the HTML that you do. It is very important that we pay attention to detail, so if we open a tag, we'd want to close a tag. And we'll see how we do that once we start typing code. So let's go ahead and move to uh, Sublime Text. That's what we'll be using. You can use a whole bunch of other editors. So we'll go ahead and navigate over here. Um, so I'm in a folder, HTML Intro. I want to go ahead and right-click and do New File. And inside of here, I'll go ahead and save it before I start. And I'll simply call this uh, index.html. You can use the word index or default, but most web servers and websites are served by web servers. Look for a file that starts with index or default as the default file. So if you name it my file or Bob's file or anything like that, totally okay, that works. However, you would have to configure your website to serve that file uh, as the first file. And we'll look at that when we get into hosting. So index.html. So to make this first document uh, a good valid HTML document, we can simply jump in and say HTML. And I've got some things installed that go ahead and auto close my HTML or basically all my tags for me. Uh, then we go into head and inside of head, we might have a title. Okay. And the title might be hello world. Go ahead and bump this font down just a hair. Okay, and inside, or rather next to the head, we might have a body tag. And we might have a really big font, an H1 or a header. And we can just parrot the hello world. Okay. And that's technically all that we need uh, to run our document. So you'll notice here, I've got hello world in big, bold letters. And I've got hello world up here in my tab. That's really all you need. Uh, now, obviously, we can do a little bit more. Um, so if we wanted to come in here and uh, maybe make a list, we can make an unordered list. So UL, unordered list. And then we can do an LI, which is a list item. So most of these tags kind of make sense. H1 is a header one. Um, so we might say uh, first item, and then we can go to the end and make a new list item and call this second item. Real simple. Now, in uh, Sublime, I have a tool that allows me to do Control-Option-C, and that's what allows me to just immediately jump out and, and open this. And we'll cover different Sublime plugins to get you those aspects. So that's a first simple uh, HTML introduction. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments or hit us up on Slack.